John Angie here. And Mr. Williams on the list too. And Mr. Williams on the list. And Miss Miss Hedges to the left, please. Tiffany to the left, please. And Rita, the front of the outfit. Rita on the left. And Miss Laura at the front. Kelly, right back here, please. Kelly to the left, Kelly. Kelly, 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 right there. And guys, to get it to the list line, the smiles. Over here to the end, please. Ahead, Where's on the left side, sir? Here. Derek, guys over here, please. And Derek, Gloria together. Derek, Gloria to the left. Well, for several reasons, Big John is like, you know, a very important person in all of our lives in music. His support for us is just has just been unbelievable. And it's like him doing this tonight just shows you like a guy that is like selfless, you know? This could be all about him, but it's really for a cause, but it's really all about him. And for him, it's for the cause. I know that sounds confusing, but I'm saying like, you gotta stand behind a guy like that because he stood behind us. Keep fighting a good fight and know that there's a, there's a lot of people in this world who wanna see cures for these conditions and these diseases and know that God is the greatest. Cures are coming. Well, I love what City, Hope, City of Hope does, um, and I'm definitely all in support of anyone who is trying to help others. Now, I had a great auntie who passed away from breast cancer, diabetes. Uh, my father had that, less congestive heart failure, a lot of things. So, yeah, I know a lot of people that have been sick. So, I definitely can relate. Uh, of course, definitely supporting City of Hope, but Big John coming out to celebrate him tonight is, I mean, one of the many reasons we're here. Um, but just so excited to honor such a great man in music, a great black man in music, a great powerful black man in music, and we're so proud of him. I think from somebody who's been involved in, like my mother who had breast cancer and it being Breast Cancer Month, I thought it was incredibly amazing how much City of Hope do for so many people. And it just touches a nice sensitive su subject for me. And uh, yeah, I just think it's a beautiful night. I'm really happy to be here. First of all, there's only one Big John. Second of all, he makes dreams come true. He was involved in a lot of my coming up into the game, especially in the beginning. And I think everyone respects Big John, and you know, he should always get celebrated. He's a great man. Well, one, Big John is my friend, personal friend. I, you know, um, I've known Big John for 20 some odd years or something like that. And just to see this and all of this for him, um, and then the collaboration of City of Hope and the importance and the things that City of Hope does for, for its patients and trying to find cures for these diseases that we hate. Um, I think it's just an amazing, important night and I, you know, I'm thankful to just be invited, much less to be a part of it. Um, because he's a powerful guy in the in, in, in music industry, not just because of uh, his position. Power meaning the resources of people that he knows, his friends, me. Um, uh, just, just a, you know, we have to really, really take care of these type of people that have these relationships, and it's not built on money, and it's not built on fate. It's built on actual friendship and people picking up the phone, talking to somebody, saying, "Yo, let's do this, let's do this," and it's genuine. Can't think of anyone more deserving to be prized in front of their peers, in front of the world, than. Uh, my brother, John Platt, the artist formerly known as Big John. Denver DJ with the Jerry Curl goes and he's the highest ranking black executive in any global company. He's the Obama of the music industry this month. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. And I'm just glad that everyone in this room gets to acknowledge and prize this man tonight for all his accomplishment. He's behind some of the biggest hits in the world, and uh, it couldn't happen to a finer person. So, ladies and gentlemen, the artist formerly known as Big John, John Platt. Um, 
Um, I want to say to, to Jay, for more than 20 years, your genius and your friendship and your loyalty It's helped define me. It's helped to, to uh, define me in this industry. And from the bottom of my heart, I know for a fact that I wouldn't be on this stage tonight if you hadn't come into my life. I just want to say thank you for everything. And a huge thank you to the MFEI board and the entire team at City of Hope. And I'd also like to thank Trombone Shorty, Mary Mary, Warren Campbell, Tiffany Haddish, and I'd be remiss if I didn't thank Jackie Petrie. <laughs> you know, I've attended this uh, Spirit of Life Gala many times before, and uh, some people that I truly admire have received this award. But I've attended this event many times before, and uh, when I got the call that I'd been chosen to receive it, I seriously thought about not accepting it because uh, among other reasons, I just, like Jay said, I, I really feel my place is behind the scenes. But then I, uh, I called my wife and I told her about it. And before I could share my doubts, she just cut me off and said, oh, you're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> but then I still needed to be, I needed to be uh, my decision. And I gave some thought to it. And the more I thought about it, I began to think about how I could use this opportunity to share this spotlight with so many other people. And I'd be able to share it with the culture that has supported and nurtured me. And I'd also be able to uh, shine a light on a generation of executives that I've grown up with in this industry who are more than ready and willing to contribute to something bigger than ourselves. And over the last few months, I've had the privilege to meet with the people at City of Hope, the people that give City of Hope its name, beginning with the patients like Komar McDowell, who you saw here earlier this evening. These are patients that are bravely, um, bravely carrying on and through huge challenges in life. And then there's the doctors and the researchers and the nurses, people like Dr. Rick Kittles. He was on the video. You know, Dr. Kittles, he's so focused on the health disparities that people of color face. And he's so determined on this that I just know things are gonna get better. And then Angie and I also spent time with Dr. Bart Rope. Dr. Rope and his team are passionately fighting to find a cure for type one diabetes. And that's an earth-shaking development that will help millions of people, including my own son, Jonathan, who is sitting right there. We're big John now. <laughs> he was diagnosed with diabetes nine years ago this month. So you see, like many of you here tonight, my family has been impacted by some of the diseases the City of Hope is fighting every day. And recently, I lost two close friends to cancer. J. Ice Pick Jackson and Dave Nelson. And before them, my father-in-law, Willie Willis. So when Angie and I visited the City of Hope, things got put in their proper perspective. We saw firsthand the work the City of Hope is doing and what that work can mean, not only for our family, but for all humanity. And it's no exaggeration when I say the City of Hope at City of Hope, they don't know the meaning of the word impossible. And then last week, things got real in a way that I, that I really hadn't planned for. As I was sitting at home and I was trying to gather my thoughts for what I wanted to say tonight, I received a text message from a friend of mine, a DJ in Denver, Colorado, who really taught me a lot when I was younger. And he congratulated me on my success and he told me how proud he was of me. And then the message said, I gotta get with City of Hope. Now I read that as, I gotta get with this organization that John's supporting. 
but that's not what he meant. He told me he had been diagnosed with cancer. And I asked him to let me connect him, to allow me to connect him with City of Hope. And within minutes, I was able to tell him what time the call would be and who would be calling him. And he responded with a message that said, Big John, this is saving my life. And that's when I knew how City of Hope could save a life. Because in real time, I've been able to see that City of Hope lives up to their name. And what I've learned is City of Hope is more than a hospital. It's a family. It's a home for hope and for care and for miracles. And with a mission like that, I take this honor so seriously tonight. And I'm so happy to be here to honor and support this great institution. Left my last thank you to Beyonce. I'm so lucky to work with someone that inspires me the way she does. I'm so lucky to work with someone that every time I walk away from her, I say to myself, I gotta work harder. You know, on a recent tour with Jay that just concluded, as I watched audience after audience lose their mind, my thought went to her journey. And I was reminded that even when you're the biggest talent in the world, it still comes down to hard work. You see, she leads by example. She shows all of us how to dream big, how to believe in what's possible, but most important, how to help and inspire others. That's the real spirit of life. There's a lot of, I know a city of hope, but there's a lot of hope in this room. There's a lot of transformative energy in this room. There's a lot of goodwill in this room. And there's lots and lots of diversity. And I can't stress that enough because while the world is so crazy and the media shows us the stuff that they show us, you know, we as black folks were often portrayed in ways that um, we don't always agree with, just like any other culture. You know, there, there are people who say things that you may or may not agree with, but then there are people who had the ability to be the glue in the room, be the glue for, the, for, for amazing causes like this. And I think that this is, this is important. This is important for you guys to realize that you have the ability to change things. And there's a guy here who has this amazing magnetic galvanizing energy called John Platt that's got you here in the giving energy tonight. I'm honored to be here in support of John Platt as this year's 2018 City of Hope Spirit of Life honoree. Tonight, I have been given the distinct honor to introduce our patient speaker. The story she is about to share is tough to hear, but a testament to why we as a community must continue our fight against cancer, diabetes, and other life-threatening diseases. Her story exemplifies strength through perseverance and her spirit for life. Please join me in welcoming Koma McDowell. I often sit and wonder, why me? Why did I survive when so many with greater chances of survival are not here? Why me? I'm not sure, but since I am here, and because of my journey, I am fearless. And I wholeheartedly, I believe in the impossible. If I told you my story, you would learn that I am physically scarred from all of the surgeries I've endured. You know, I remember being afraid to look at myself in the mirror after my first mastectomy. And as I stood in the bathroom, 
with my face down, my husband walked in and he encouraged me to look up. He told me that my scars were signs of survival and to not be ashamed of them. I face, I face daily challenges with body image because of the visual and the mental scars post-treatment. But just know that I embrace the challenge and I press on because I am still here. But if I told you my story, you will learn that I am a mother. I was able to conceive and carry our son to full term. He is now nine years old, highly intelligent, and aspires to be the first African-American Formula One driver by way of NASCAR. I honestly believe the chemo gave him extra brain cells and the Midas touch, because he is amazingly gifted in so many ways. For those of us who find ourselves on an exam table saying, how did I get cancer? You see, Mr. Platt, to us, impossible simply means I'm possible. So to you and to Mrs. Platt, I would like to say on behalf of all City of Hope patients, thank you from the bottom of my heart for your personal contributions and your contributions through the music industry. I wanna go. Yeah, 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 yeah.